doesn't help him a lot. Apparently there's supposed to be food here. At least that's what all the servants seem to be thinking. Yeah, we're back! At last, I'll get to go up against the final swimsuit sword master, the Summerlion King. You're always the first, right? Yori was the first. This doesn't make seven. Man, every one of them has been a real pain to fight, but I'm still gonna miss them when they're gone. Part of me, like, nothing more to keep on fight. Heck! What's the big idea, Totosama? Huh? I couldn't get carried away and say things like I want to keep fighting? What's wrong with that? I'm a swimsuit sword master. Damn it. Fighting's what I do. Easy there, sir. Who doesn't have a dark re wreckish tree where she I got a little carried away? Dark what? 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 I didn't say anything. Nope, not me. Nobody can escape their past, no matter how much they want to. What's that about the past? Nothing. It's nothing. <sighs> yes, that's right. You don't realize what you've done until it's too late so much for coming to your senses someday. My, my. It must be hard being human, all that growing and changing. I guess the only way to remain an unblemished young woman forever is to be made that way. Like me. I was made that way. I don't have a silly obsession with escaping from a dark past. The fact that you two do is just another sign that your minds are still oh so immature. It's pathetic. After all, a truly perfect being like yours surely would never have such blemishes on her record. She'd remain pure as the driven snow from the moment of her creation. You do know what you're wearing when you say that, right? Hey, Master. You have any idea what they're talking about? Why are they all so caught up in the past? I don't get it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with no comment. Huh? Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I already know who I am. I'm a swimsuit sword master, descended from the greatest sword fighter, a painter, and a future fairy. A great sword fighter. You won't find another woman like me in all of Edo or any casino in Las Vegas. That's right, there's only one of me in the whole dang world. It was true yesterday, it's true today, and it's gonna be true tomorrow, too. I know it. her Chunibyu has practically become part of her character after facing all the swimsuit sword masters. Her delusion. She doesn't seem to have a hint of shame she did when she first started. Oh, you sweet summer child, you have no idea how cringe it's gonna get when all this catches up with you later. That's great to hear, Hokusai. I can see you're truly gotten the hang of being a swimsuit sword master. Myself, on the other hand, I still haven't come close to being an out and proud swimsuit sword master like you. I must still be missing something, something you clearly have in spades. You need to be shirtless. No, what, do, what were you thinking, Sigrid? Don't encourage her true to be you even more. Huh? Don't be ridiculous, Sigrid. Ain't we been fighting all together all this time? I'm sure you're a great swimsuit sword master in your own right, even if you don't realize it. I mean, if I'm a real swimsuit sword master now, you pretty much have to be too. Eh! What was that for, Toda-sama? I have returned, master. Oh, Kotaro. Senpai, Kotaro is back from his recon mission. Yes, Master. I can confirm that the Summer Lion King, the last swimsuit sword master and ruler of Dazzling Las Vegas, is there in Vegas' great, greatest and most dominant casino, Casino Camelot. And what's more, she appears to be waiting for us with all the grace and dignity of a true king. Alright, guys, it's all come down to this. This is what Hokusai Siegfried and Master have been waiting for. As for the rest of you, buckle up, because there's no getting off this ride now. Come on. We're off to Casino Camelot. Yeah! Welcome, distinguished guests. Allow me to welcome you to Casino Camelot on behalf of the Summer Lion King. I hope you enjoy your time in the nights to the round tables, handcraft casino spaces. Huh? It's kind of unsettling how uh, settled down this place is. It's so atmospheric here. It feels like a place for grown-ups. I've always admired places like this. The Majek Casino is fancy and all. Whoop. But it was also a little too uh, Majetti, you know? This place, though, it feels just like a normal classic casino, don't you think? I don't know what you're so surprised about. This is what most casinos are typically like. The Creed. If there's anything I can do for you ladies, please don't hesitate to ask. All right, for now, if we do need something, we'll be sure to let you know. I see. My apologies for the intrusion. Once again, I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you. Poggers. Wow, you really did used to be a noble woman, didn't you? You know, like, like it was... What do you mean, used to be? I'm still as much a noble woman as I am as a phantom thief. As for that, I can assure you it was hardly anything special for a member of nobility. 
Really? Mm. Turn on, do not disturb. I can never seem to get used to that sort of thing. It just feels so embarrassing. Really, Lord Sigfrey? I'm surprised to hear that from you. It's just... How can I put this? I suppose it feels a little rude to dress so informally in a nice place like this. I just can't seem to shake that feeling. Oh. Tell me they never say anything about dress code here. No two girl experience dress the same anyway. Both of those are true. That's true. Some high class hotels and restaurants have a ban on sandals and men are required to wear neckties to get in. But we haven't seen anything like that at Casino Camelot. Hmm. Come now, you have the great dragon slayer. What could you possibly need to hide? Both your skin and that scar are signs of your indomitable might. You should be proud of them. So stand tall, hold your head high. Your very existence is valuable. If anyone were to criticize you or your outfit, that would only reflect a point on them, not you. You're too kind, Carmela. I don't deserve such accolades. You're wrong. If anything, I'm selling you short. Perhaps if you, it would do you some good to experience uh, true high society. There it is. Good old high society. The pride of western nobles everywhere. Personally, I think the whole thing sounds like a total nightmare, but never mind that. The point is, they say it's a glitzy, glamorous world with envy, intrigue, jealousy, and guile all swirl together like a giant smoothie. Huh. I, uh, I see. Well, hey, even if the, in the Ferrex casino, you know, they said that in this Vegas, swimsuits are the best clothes you can wear. So I say we don't have to worry about that. We or anyone else is wearing. What? We or anyone else is wearing. Oh, I lost again. Me too. Why are you being so mean to us, dealer? I do sympathize with your losses, my ladies, but I can promise you this. I, Gawain, proud knight of the round table, never have nor shall engage in any man of underhanded play. The roulette wheel is a game of luck. Perhaps you already used up all your good luck elsewhere, fair maidens. Luck, huh? Good point. It was incredibly lucky getting a seat at this table. You said playing a few rounds at Sir Gawain's table is the luckiest thing that's ever happened to me by far. <sighs> that must be it, then. We must have used up all our good luck so we could be here right now. Then we should try to stay here as long as we can. Besides, I don't want to leave this table. In fact, I'm trying to throw in more chips. Sir Gawain, would you please do me the honor of spinning the roulette wheel for me again? Of course, my lady. I would be glad to spin it for all of you as many times as you like. This is terrible. I don't know what I'm going to do. You're also breathtakingly beautiful that I don't know if I can continue to deal fa fairly. My fingers keep moving of their own accord, guiding you to the cars that are bound to put a lovely smile on your even lovelier faces. Forgive me, ladies. If you wish to play roulette, perhaps you would be better off waiting for a seat at Sir Gawain's table after all. Don't be ridiculous, Sir Lancelot. None of us suspect you of cheating in the slightest. We simply can't tear our eyes away from how sharply your fingers deal the cards. Just having you as your dealer is worth all the chips in the world. Uh... You might want to reconsider that position, ladies. This is a serious game with serious QP on the line. And we're just as serious about having Sir Lancelot deal his cards, right, Sir Lancelot? You are too kind. Dude, you can see the lines going down to his groin area. I'm not convinced he's wearing pants. Ah, how this saddens me. It saddens me to no end. I only thought to play my harp so that we could all enjoy a brief moment of bliss together. But alas, alas. Having you throw all your chips at me is bound to warp my intention into something less than altruistic. Ah, how this saddens me. Sir Tristan! Please don't worry about it. We're only giving you these chips because we're dying to. We do hope you'll accept. Oh, I know. Think of this as a kind of tip. Yes, exactly! Oh, I don't even want these chips, and yet they keep coming my way. How I scare myself. What a terrifying thing to be able to earn vast sums of riches merely by playing my harp. Yeah! Holy Knights everywhere! I hey, look, I don't know if my poor eyes can take it. No need to shout, we can hear you just fine. That said, these definitely aren't your everyday knights. Not that that makes them any great catch, especially Tristan. Nice, darling. Gentle coming from you. I'm just telling it like it is. Crap personalities aside, they got a lot in the way of looks and skill. Sir Lancelot? No, wait, Senpai, I just realized something. Those three are... Knights of the Round Table. Woohoo! Right, those are the three Aloha Knights. Casino Camelot's prize swimsuit horror experience with special seasonal outfits. 
Somehow I doubt we're gonna be gifted those outfits. The three Aloha Knights. What are those, Yori? Exactly what they look like. They're the three pretty boy round table knights who all wear Hawaiian shirts. Anyone without resistance to their good looks is like a putty in their hands. Not only that, they're all exceptionally skilled dealers, and they're all strong enough to be swimsuit swordmasters with their own casinos at, in their own right. Even when I challenged them myself, figuring they were old enough that I could handle their looks without getting distracted, their dealer skills were so good that I ended up getting trounced. Whoa, whoa, pack up, Lee. We're not here to play the casino games, right? All I gotta do is challenge him to a duel as a swimsuit swordmaster, and... I'm afraid it's not that simple, Hokusai. Those heroic spirits were always formidable, but now they can no longer be defeated by ordinary means. I'm all but certain those Aloha shirts are infused with powerful magical energy. The same sort that caused this Las Vegas to manifest in the first place. You got a nice eye there, Dragon Slayer of the West. I'm pretty sure each of their shirts is infused with a special kind of magical energy. Together, the Aloha Knights are the Summer Lion King's strongest shield and spear all rolled into one, er, three. Then we'll have to think of a way to get past them so we can't rush in without a plan. Right. Master, before we secure a letter of challenge, I think we should scope out the premises. We may be able to learn something about the Aloha Knights as well as the other casino guests and employees. Good idea. Good idea. Sounds good. <sighs> Who cares about all this casino bullshit? I only came in here in the first place because I heard there would be a sword duels. I'm going to lose my edge if I don't get some fighting in soon, and the Aloha dumbasses don't look like they're going to be any help here. Come now, it's not that bad. Besides, it's a lot like the job you were working last year. You still remember that fundamentals of good customer service are a smile and a polite language, right? Saber? Never been good at either of those. At least you're obviously cut out for this crap, Bean Sprout. Last year we worked at the hotel, and this year we're dealers, huh? I don't know how you can stand being someone else's lackey all the time. I never had any jobs like this when I was alive, but I found them to be quite enjoyable once I tried them. I know you like to grumble, but isn't that true for you as well, Saber? Hell no, I'm sick and tired of this shit. Oh, I see. Hell with it. Let's play hooky and go do something fun. Come on. Absolutely not. Gareth? That would be a complete dedication of your dereliction of your responsibilities, Mordred. Ah, oh, crap. Lady Gareth. I have no idea who this Summer Lion King person is supposed to be. She's still a king, and that's what matters. And now all three brothers are serving her. Well, I won't pretend it's not disappointing that Gaharis and Graven are nowhere to be seen, but nonetheless, the fact that Gawain, myself, you, Sir Tristan, and even Sir Lancelot are all here makes this the round table. Now I'll go further. This place is Camelot itself. It even says it right here. See, because you know Camelot. So, as Her Majesty's proud knights, it's our duty to do our jobs well. And in your case, Mordred, this is your chance to clear your name. Uh, Lady Gareth, that's... Clear my name? I'll give you a clear, clear name, shit for brains. And the goddamn heroic spirit of treachery. Maybe a one thing if I had a different spirit origin, but I'm going back, hat in hand, and asking to rejoin the round table now. Hell friggin' no. Watch your language. This is so sad. I think I'm even sadder than Sir Tristan. I know I raised you better than this, Mordred. The hell? You didn't raise me at all, ass face. Do not call me ass face. Or what? Come on, you two. Settle down, please. We don't want to bother the guests, right? Sounds like quite the commotion over there. I must say, I'm a bit tired from all the work I've been doing this year. It's playing a havoc on these old bones. I'd hope they'd at least let me spend my summer in peace and quiet, don't you agree? Now then, what can I get you? Personally, I would have to recommend the Las Vegas, a cocktail name for this fair city. I dare say you never taste anything so sweet. It's made with generous amounts of coconut cream, whipped cream, orange juice, pineapple juice in equal measure. What do you say, care to try one? Are you listening to me, Holmes? Do you mind? Can't you tell the secrets of the world are revealing themselves to me as we speak? I'll thank you not to talk to me right now. <laughs> when did you start smoking that, Holmes? So all my words have been wasted, huh? I guess you win this round. Security, do you mind taking this churl to the back alley and roughing him up a bit? Right this way, sir. Oh, bollocks. Is this me or is that Mr. Holmes? 
I'm sure it's a shoe. Next. You have some nerve calling for me. I know I may have more chips than most people do right now, but nonetheless... Eh, does this mean you have every confidence in your ability to entertain me? Well, I wish I could answer that with a hearty, of course. I'm afraid you would be a tall order, even for me. No, I think only a goddess of equal caliber would be a good match for a giantess bride of the gods. So today, I'm only here to be your guide. Now then, I think I'll let the lord of the castle take it from here. Thank you for coming all this way, Scotty. I promise you that Casino Camelot will see to it your stay. Oh. It's a pleasant one. Forgive me for bringing you this in this area. I'm here to show you the VIP lounge in the back. Master, look over there. It's the Summer Lion King. What a stroke of luck running into her here. We can get this seventh and final match underway right now. Wait, please. It looks like Mr. Mystery is part of the staff here. You mean he works at Camelot? I thought I was here to have fun. It would seem so. I had no idea he actually had a steady job. Then he was actually our enemy all this time. How unfortunate. We can't say that yet for sure. On second thought, maybe we can. He's certainly carrying himself like the enemy's side or strongest. Honestly, I can't say I'm surprised. So our own damn enemy was actually helping us out this whole time. How weak do they think that we are? You see that? He just smiled at us. Now I'm really pissed. That does it. I'm done with Mr. Mystery. The only thing that'll be left of him is rust on my blades. Foo-foo! Rust-foo! Don't bother. It's pointless. Huh? He's something of an illusion, not a person. If you try to cut him down, he'll just disappear like so much mist. If you really want to hurt him, the best thing to do is completely ignore him. You should start by observing the enemy and learning everything you can, especially since you still don't have the letter of challenge. Besides, there's no way this is going to be routine. Remember what happened with the shark woman? Here, Mrs. Skithax Scotty. These three will show you to the VIP lounge. Aloha, knights. Come here, aloha, knights. Yes, sir. Present. We are the aloha knights at your service. Well now, you're all quite handsome indeed, so these are the three Aloha Knights I've heard so much about. I am told you're all loyal subordinates to the Summer Lion King. Yes, I see now. I can tell from the way you carry yourselves that you are no ordinary men. They say they are determined to protect me and our VIP guests no matter how much I tell them there is no need, so they are indeed good at their job. Do you mean serving as bodyguards or as dealers? Or not, I myself would be your dealer. Nothing less would do for a game. Of something. Game between gods? Something like that? What? For a game against the goddess. <laughs> well, alright then. They're not gonna let anyone get to the Summer Lion King without going through them, are they? Exactly. Unless we can do something about the Aloha Knights, we'll never have an audience with the Summer Lion King. So that's how it is. How about Mr. Mystery? They're gonna be formidable adversaries. Ah, uh, this ain't nothing. I'm gonna go see how tough these Aloha Knights are for myself. That's very courageous of you, Hokusai. You know it. However, they still used to be the nice of the round table. Each of them is strong enough to be an incredibly powerful swimsuit swordmaster in their own right. As a swimsuit swordmaster yourself, Hokusai, I'm sure you can sense it for yourself. But yeah, of course I do. It's practically giving me the goosebumps. You don't say. I didn't think swimsuit swordmasters could sense things like that. Aren't you one yourself? Guess that just goes to show why we beat you. I don't sense anything I... Er Look, if they say they can sense it, just let them think they can sense it. Besides, I don't want to have to deal with them being sore if they l realize they can't. Do you? I suppose it's possible. Are you done scoping out this casino's adversaries yet? Because there's no point in sticking around if you're not going to gamble. Lady Lambda's right. I think it would be best if we return to our base to plan our next course of action. You might be right. What would you like to do, Senpai? Let's go back to the hotel for now. Yes, Master. Well, at least we know what we're up against now. Yes, we need to figure out what to do about the three Aloha Knights. 
That's true, they do make for a very imposing wall. Oh, by the way, I was just gonna make some coffee for Master. Would anyone else like some? I would. Ooh, me too! Coffee would be lovely, thank you. I'll have some too. Maybe I'll have a cup too then. A little caffeine might be just what we need to brainstorm a plan or tech. I don't suppose you have any cocktails here. No, we don't have any alcohol. Servants who consider themselves above drinking age would probably be best served by going to the underground bar. I'm told the Prince of Lan Ling works nights there. The Prince of Lan Ling? He's one of the more handsome sabers, right? I hate sabers. Alright, you at least have energy drinks around here, right? I'll just have one of those then. Understood. I'll help you, Kotaru. Thank you, Mash. Ah, it didn't even occur to me that I could show off what a nice girl I am by offering to help out there. I'm so jealous of Mash that she can do that sort of thing without even thinking about it. I can never hope to be in a Hyaku million years. Are you alright, Oskabahimi? Is something bothering you? No, I'm fine. Totally daijoubu. Daijoubu. Foo! So what are we talking about again? Trying to figure out what to do about the Aloha Knights? This would be dangerous to fight them head on. Let's hit them where they're weakest. I agree with that. Seeing how strong those knights of the round table are on their own, I can only imagine how formidable they are with the Holy Grail's magical energy enhancing them. And the indirect approach it is. I saw some people in the casino on both the employee and guest sides I think we could convince to help us. Why don't we talk to them? True, and I think I know just who you mean. Could you guys be a little more specific? It's simple. We get the archer with the mustache to come up with a devious plan. And we get information on the Aloha Knights from the other Knights of the Round Table, Gareth and Mordred. Much as I'd love to drain that lovely goddess sometime. Ooh, okay. I think she'd be useful, too, even without that. Now I get it. You're just evil. Makes sense to me. Other knights of the round table ought to have plenty of dirt on their compatriots. What do you think, Mesh? Oh, are they back? Oh, yes. We just got back with the coffee. Yeah, you're a master. Would you like it with milk or sugar? Both, please. No, thanks. Black is fine. Both of those options. Here you go. Ooh, me too. Yeah, this is very good. Excellent flavor, brimming with happiness. A rich aroma that tickles your nose. Huh. Okay. Uh, let's see. This is good coffee. You earned my praise. Thank you, everyone. I learned how to make tea for my mo I mean, or never mind. Anyway, what do you think, Mash? Taking advantage of the other night's knowledge, the archer, the goddess? It all seems like a good idea to me. Well, this is just a hunch. But I do think that Gareth would be an effective foil for Sir Lancelot, yes? And this Moriarty guy's a genius at coming up with plans, right? As for the goddess, I agree. She does seem like she could be useful somehow. Then it's settled. Well, ain't no time like the present. Let's go back there and get started right now. Oh, I'm just the alter ego. IT alter ego. The rest of you can handle the execution. Besides, I have another show tomorrow, so I definitely can't stay up late. I'm heading back to my room. Beauty sleep. As I say, you can't fight on an empty stomach, so I think we should eat first. Master, I think the best thing you can have for dinner tonight is a thick, juicy steak. And as luck would have it, I understand the Prince of Lanling just got in some world-class steak today. I thought it would be the perfect meal to liven things up before we get started. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Let's begin by getting Master one of those steaks. Steak, huh? That does sound good. Drooling. I swear, I don't know why you're all so obsessed with food. It's not like we servants even need to eat, uh, steak. Mmm, steak. Alright, first it is. First comes steak, then comes strategy. Okay. Woo, but what about the calories? I took a lot at that restaurant's menu recently, and the smallest steak you can get there is 500 grams. Are we really going to have all these calories even this late? Come on, let's go, Bahamia, let's go. No, damn you girls who exercise every day. Go out in the blue and die. What are you still doing here? Come on, let's go already. Holy crap, that was a long cutscene. That was like a Yakuza plot cutscene. Okay. 